The CHS News broadcast made its debut at Childsworth High School in late 2001 with much success, coinciding with the morning announcements over the PA system. At that point in time, the broadcast was a very simple setup in room S85, shot only with outdated studio equipment, broadcast live through a closed circuit system within the school. But the students took to the broadcast in a very professional way, and their teacher gave them full creative access to the stories and reports as well as seconding as anchors. Six years later. The broadcast has now become an important part of the school, bringing in high quality news all student operated with new top notch equipment and has never looked better. Every year there is a new crop of kids that must be taught and inspired to carry on the tradition of CHS news. A semester has begun with new students entering the video class as well as returning students. Now they must work together to bring in the important issues and the activity of the school into the newsroom to keep the top quality of the broadcast alive. For the next three weeks, you guys have a lot to learn. We're growing also. I'm in a new room. Uh, we got the new, yeah, got the new equipment. We got the new equipment. We're learning it. Uh, we're trying to figure out where the news desk is going to go, the look of the news desk. We want you part of that. What you are going to see, Mr. Massey and I are going to show you uh, over the next couple of days and weeks past examples of reports and the, uh, the anchors, the video news broadcast. Working with another teacher is a little bit difficult, um, but I think that um, his responsibility is to handle the reporters, mine is to the production end. And I think that we have to work a little bit better together. We're trying to get that uh, cohesiveness and it's not right, Everybody it's not there the yet, but it'll, it'll work out. It. Okay, you can, you can find a place for yourself, you can make a name for yourself. You like the class so far? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Anything you don't like? Um, I don't like how he just like threw it out of nowhere. Like, we thought we were all going to be in a drama class and then, surprise, we're not. Uh, be honest. It's sick. I like this class. That's one key. Yeah, that's, that's, hard work. Work. <laughs> that's what you got to be careful about. People walking by, but it happens even with the professionals. You guys have seen the news. When there's a guy in the back. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Okay, that happens. Sometimes what you may want to do is to stop it if it's a stand-up and say, you know, let's do it again. There's a person in the back making a face and telling them to go. But look at this composition. Good composition. Thank you. They put them in the third of the frame. They got the track right there, so it says track. What we're going to do now is everybody needs to get their name on a story. Everybody has their name on a story, and there's some left over. The news uh, anchors, or uh, reporters, uh, wrote a script for stand-up. How long are the stories going to be? They'll be on average about a minute and a half to two minutes. It's not a lot of time, but it's enough to have a really good, solid story, good information, good visuals. These are going to be used for my beginning classes. And I'll explain why I don't want you guys using these. These don't have some of the features on that you guys need to do your news reports, okay? The Panasonic does, okay? And the GL2 does. He's been absent for two days, right? Those are locked. A lot of these kids are new, so this whole experience is uh, pretty new to them. I've been doing this for about two years. So it's pretty much me and Charles who know uh, how to how this works, and uh, Pablo, and I don't really know anyone else. Last year we had a room that's, all, that's always set up for a switcher, but now, now we have to pull out the glow cast and set up, so that takes time. So basically, we lose about 15 minutes of time setting up. Guys, plus, plus everyone is new, so uh, we have to teach them sort of while we're while we're practicing. 
by would be no longer than 20 seconds, okay? Okay, and then we'll, the floor manager will explain to you. There's some that had uh, a little more to learn than the other ones. Um, uh, we have new equipment. We have over $100,000 worth of new equipment. We bought this, um, this new switcher called the Globecaster. I also switched rooms, and I think that's posing a little bit of, of, of difficulty with the, the broadcast. Um, on one hand, I gained editing bays. On the other hand, I lost a controller. And so when you're doing a broadcast, you like to separate the, the, uh, the direction and the audio in the control room from the actual set. We don't have that separation. And so we're always fighting um, audio problems from the director uh, leaking on it into the set. So that's a challenge. And then, so they know that they're saying hello on this camera and goodbye. And then when you read, you're reading on that camera. When you read, you're reading on this camera. Right. We're, we're teaching everybody over here. Which really isn't getting anything done. Uh, McDowell hasn't taught him anything at all. They still don't know what to do, like, you need to know what to do on camera, like, I guess it's just telling them how to say something. It was good, I think but it was would be, way better yeah. than the practice one, mm -hmm. than the actual, because we didn't have that many mistakes, but it was good. But next time, it'll be better because we'll be, we'll know what to do, so it'll be much, much better. Oh, we don't have a swim team, baby. No, 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 we do have a swim team, we do have a water team. Yeah, right, so I could do that. Yeah. You are doing the water. Okay. This is Dorothy Tuttle reporting for CHS News. I've got exciting information that Tutsworth High has a new water polo team. Come with me, let's go to the main office and get the names of the team members so we can go and congratulate them personally, as well as get additional information on what the upcoming season is going to look like. I hate it. Okay. 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 Okay.
Some college information for you seniors. Applications for CSU are from October 1st to November the 13th, and for UC are September 1st to November the 13th. If you haven't taken the ACT or SAT, um, it was really exciting. I had a lot of fun. I mean, it was hard work, but it was worth it. I soon we saw that on the outdoor stage. Speaking of eating, Megan Hatcher has her story on her very own cooking class. Hi, this is Megan Hatcher reporting from CHS News. I'm here with Mr. Lawton talking about his the cooking class and about the competition. So, Mr. Lawton, what made you want to start cooking? Uh, I worked in the restaurant business for 25 years. Okay, so do you guys go do any cooking? I think to improve the broadcast, we need to edit our reports a lot better. I think that um, one of the problems is that there's a lot of bad cuts. They're like they would show an interview being finished, and then there'd just be a long uh, pause of the coach just standing there. For your, for your interview today. You got it. Thank you. And this is Megan Rapatcher reporting from CHS three. News. And back to you guys. A quick reminder to Chatsworth High School students. There are a variety of events coming up. There is a meet at Pierce where Birmingham will play Chatsworth at 2.30. And tomorrow night, Taff will play Chatsworth at 4 and 7. Not to mention that Drama is putting together the Fall Festival preview this Saturday. Tickets are sold at the door and it starts at 6 p.m. And that is all for this CHS News edition. We hope to see you here next week. Daytime for day play. A little bit more, a little bit more. And that's a wrap. Let's go. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. Good job, we are here to critique and give opinion on all of our work, yours, and your fellow classmates. Megan, just a suggestion, just think about this. You're Mr. Lawton. You're my first broadcast, I think, uh, went extremely well. I was a little worried, to be honest with you. Um, I uh, had a lot of new students. There were very few who were in my class the previous year, so there was a large learning curve, but they came together and they seemed to pull it off. I think there's always room for improvement, but I am happy with the first broadcast. And after all that, thank you to the on-camera reporters and anchors. Thank you to all the technicians that worked on it. Bottom line is, it got done. One down, 25 more to go.